having the opportunity for earlier interventions and more awareness around the possibilities of skilled trade careers and careers in STEM uh, as viable opportunities is really, really important. Plans to put more emphasis on the skilled trades in Ontario schools are getting a thumbs up from industries that rely on these skills. On Tuesday, Education Minister Stephen Lecce made the announcement that an updated science and technology curriculum was coming. Adam Melnick, Program Director for the Provincial Building and Construction Trades Council, representing 12 trade unions in the province, says there's been a sense of nervousness at the lack of young people choosing to learn a trade. You know, the reality that there's a lot of uh, knowledge and skills that exist in the the skilled trades and the construction industry in particular that are approaching retirement. He says about 80% of that knowledge is taught on the job from one workforce to the next. We're looking at a void of that transfer of information. And he says that's an issue that's been developing for years. Apprenticeship and skilled trades just didn't get the, I mean, I guess, um, attention that it once had. Um, we're definitely experiencing a, a shortage. Ryan Park is the president of Appleby Systems, an HVAC contractor in Oakville. He agrees it's been tough to find new talent to fill vacant positions. It's a struggle. Um, we definitely have lots of work out there, but the amount of people applying these days, there's, there's definitely a shortage and it's, it's noticeable. So I'm out here working. We're pretty much replacing all this existing pipe. I didn't know what I want before I came a plumber. Meanwhile, Brian Chica is a plumber who works across the GTA. Here, he's speaking with us from a worksite in Brampton. He says he first went to school for business administration and marketing management to discover in his first semester that it wasn't a good fit. He credits a friend for directing him towards his current career. After 10 years, he says he's happy with how it's grown. It gets to the point where people come looking for you, right? And when they look for you, obviously, the more busy you are, the more money you're making. And it's, it's a good trade and it's a good skill to have always because right now, plumbers are high demand. Got out of debt. Um, you know, I'm right now in the middle of saving to, to, to buy a house. As for more trades in Ontario's curriculum, Brian says it's a good idea. It's an opportunity for them to see if they like that and they want to pursue that after high school. Melnick saying years of talent shortages have also gone hand in hand with rising wages. Uh, you are earning immediately when you start an apprenticeship. So you, you are already in a, a situation where you're positive in your economic status right out of the gate. Well, by the second, third, or fourth year of your apprenticeship, you're doing things like buying a vehicle that you can, the vehicle you want, not the vehicle vehicle you can afford. You're getting in a situation where home ownership is a, is a viable option. You're taking vacations. Maybe you're progressing your life and you're settling down with a partner or starting a family. The new science and technology curriculum goes into effect this September. In Oakville, David Zura, City News.